Now, let's discuss about the research process. There are eight major steps on the research process and we will be discussing them one by one. The first step is selection of topic, followed by reviewing the literature, and then on the third is development of theoretical and conceptual framework. On the fourth is the cl clarification of research question or hypothesis, uh, followed by the fifth, which is the research design, and then sixth is the data collection, seventh is the data analysis, and lastly, drawing of conclusion. Now, let's start with the first step. So the first step or stage one is selection of topic. It is a crucial stage. Uh, inappropriate topic or question will often lead to irretrievable difficulties along the way with your research. It is unlikely that you will develop a final question and a set of objectives at this stage of the research process. And stages two and three are important in developing and assessing your question more fully. Stage two, review of literature. A literature review essentially consists of critically reading, evaluating, and organizing existing literature on the topic to assess the state of knowledge on the area. During this stage, you should aim to become an expert in your field of research. Generally, alongside the development of the theoretical and conceptual framework. Stage 3. Development of theoretical and conceptual framework. As you read the literature, you should be continually develop and refine your theoretical and conceptual frameworks. Your theoretical framework refers to the underlying theoretical approach that you adapt to underpin your study. The conceptual framework defines and organizes the concepts important within your study. Clarification of research question is the stage four. Initial research questions are chosen, investigated, and often rejected for a number of reasons. For example, the question lacks sufficient focus. Another is the conceptual framework has identified problems in either defining or measuring the appropriate concepts. There are too many moderating or intervening variables that may lead for the question to be rejected. Or the project is unfeasible in terms of complexity, access, feasibility of facilities, and resources. We are now down to stage 5, which is the research design. What data do I need to collect to answer this question? What is the best way to collect this data? What overall research design should I use? For example, a cross-sectional, experimental, or longitudinal design? Will I need to collect primary or secondary data? What methods? For example, inter interviews, questionnaire, survey, and so on will be best to collect the primary data. Stage 6, data collection. You have to consider which methodology to choose and which methods to utilize. Stage 7, data analysis and discussion of the findings. The data you collected in stage 6 needs to be analyzed to provide answers to your research question. In your discussion of the results, reference should also be made back to the literature reviewed in stage 2. For example, how do the findings add to this literature? Do they support the literature? If not, what are the possible reasons why? And now we're down to the last stage, which is stage 8, drawing conclusions. Conclusions should relate back to the focused research question. 
you can evaluate how successful you have been in achieving your research objectives and highlight the strengths and weaknesses of the research. You may also want to make recommendation for further research. The research is not just about the collection of data. Data collection is important, but it's, it is simply part of a wider process. And that's, that is what we call the research process. The research process follows eight steps, which we have discussed. Selection of topic, reviewing the literature, developing your theoretical and conceptual framework, clarifying your research question, developing a research design, collecting data, analyzing data, and drawing conclusions. Relating your project to research process will always allow you to develop and answer your questions in a logical and systematic manner.